Hey there guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. Um, I'm sorry if my last Chromebook tutorial wasn't really thorough. I thought people would understand. But no, I I got some comments. Some of them were deleted now. I don't I don't delete comments unless you're like saying like it's like the N word or anything like that. I don't care. If they're normally I'll leave the comments up. Even if they're bad. Um So I don't know what else I with that. Also, my comments have been acting up like I have it set to allow all comments and that no no videos comments are turned off except YouTube's been going through and disabling comments on some videos and then I have to go back and change it so sorry about that but it's going to be difficult to do this video so you guys are going to have to bear with me because not too long after that video I said screw it and now this is what happens when I turn on my Chromebook all right uh, although most people who know what I'm doing would be like, yeah, I agree. <laughs> it's a good thing that you did this. So only some people will know what this screen is and why it's showing a rabbit. I decided to get rid of Chrome OS and this video is obviously titled How to Make Your Chromebook Faster in 2022. You guys are gonna have to bear with me. I can't just put Chrome OS back on here because I lost the copyright protection screw or the read the right protection screw so I had to take a physical screw out of this to put Linux on here stupid that that is even a thing but whatever all right I'll shut up and try to show you how to do it on your Chromebook but you'll have to bear with me because you know, it's not, I'm not on a Chromebook now, but, okay, this is what you do. Now, this is going to make a lot of people mad, and I can't do anything about it, but in order to actually make your Chromebook faster, you do have to have your Chromebook in developer mode to access some of these settings. That's unfortunate, because if you don't know what, you, what happens if you activate developer mode, is it factory resets your Chromebook at the same time? But you still delete all your data. So back up your data. I mean, it, the Chromebook's not hard to back up. If you already have your Google account signed in, that's all you have to do. If you have Android apps downloaded, make sure whatever games or whatever you have on there is backed up with Google Play. Um, Google Play Games, and then that's all you can do. But yeah, all, all, the worst thing you'll have to do is reinstall your apps and sign back in. That's literally not that bad. Open your Chromebook, and there's three keys you want to click. The first one is Escape. The next one you'll hit is refresh and then the power button. You'll have to click all of these together. Now, I don't know how I want to do this while holding the camera here. Escape. You know what? I'll use the lens. Eh. Now, it'll do this. Of course, for me, it's not going it's not going to work, but for you, it'll show a little screen with a exclamation mark. I'll put that on screen now. Don't freak out, okay? It looks bad. I know it's not. Um now you want to click Control D, roll D, like that. Okay, and then you, it will say whatever and click enter. Yes, you want to click enter. It'll make some beeps and then it'll reset. Give it a minute. Now this can take up to 15 minutes. It is highly recommended to leave your Chromebook on the charger when you do this, even if it's fully charged. You don't want nothing to go wrong. If something goes wrong or it somehow shuts down, you could corrupt it. Don't, don't. Just Leave it plugged in. Oh, when you boot back in, you'll be in developer mode. So here's the first thing you want to do. You want to open Chrome after you've signed in and everything, got everything synced up. You want to open Chrome and type in Chrome colon backslash backslash flags. Okay. Once you have typed that, in. okay, guys. So I made a virtual machine. So now. This isn't Chrome OS, technically, it's Cloud Ready. And if you don't know, Cloud Ready is, you know, Chrome OS look like for most people, but you can tell it looks just the same. It's literally Chrome OS under the hood, yada, yada, yada. Um, let me make this full screen. Of course, full screen wasn't, don't work now. My stuff is trying to load in, so it's, it's, it's gonna act funny. Okay, so type in Chrome. Call it. Connected it on the internet because it's getting, <laughs> it's getting bad. All right. So here's what you want to do. Once you're in the flags menu, 
Now, I want you to read this. Warning, experimental features ahead. Be careful. If you click something, you can, like, screw stuff up. It won't break your device, okay? Just be careful. And you want to look up for something called a scheduler. So just type in SCH, and normally it comes up. And you'll see something called scheduler configuration. And, you know, it's pretty much basic overclocking. It doesn't do much, but it is better than nothing. You want to click on enable. Now, you will have to restart. However, don't click it just yet. You want to minimize this, okay? Now, the next part I cannot show you because you open Google Play, you'll click your profile picture, and you'll see, oh, wow, it is the same. So, settings. Okay. It, mine will look different, but you'll click settings and click storage and or something like that. If you really cannot figure it out, look it up. Anyway, there's two settings app. There's settings, the built-in one, and there's Android settings because the Android settings app is still going to be in it because it's Android, right? So you open the Android settings app. All right, here's what you want to do. You want to go to your settings, okay? Now on Android, you don't have to... I also recommend doing this if you are if you have an Android as well. But um, you want to go to settings, and you want to go all the way down, all right? to about phone. Now since you are about Chromebook is what it would be in this case or tablet. Um, so you already enabled developer mode so it shouldn't have to come up but you know you should see developer options okay. Now it will look just like Android so you want to go all the way down to window animation scale, transition animation scale, and animator duration scale and make sure these are all off. Okay, now you want to scroll down and go to do not keep activities, it'll be disabled by default, you want to enable it, and you want to set it to at most one process. This will make sure only one process is running in the background, and it will prioritize Google. So like, if you didn't have it, if you had it on no background processes, you'll have, they'll have issues, because you'll try to download an app, and if you don't stay on the Google Play Store while it's downloading, it'll just stop. So I recommend having it set to one or two. So you set it to one. Now the only bad thing about this is every time you restart your Chromebook, it changes it back to standard. I don't know why, but yeah. So you'll have to change it, but it does make it faster and it even makes your phone faster. But that is really, I mean, that's, I know that was only two things, but that's only, that, those are the only two things you can do is doing the flags and then turn, well, three things, turning off the animations and then turning off the, what's in the background. Restart your Chromebook. You might have to set that again. You might want to check. And that's all you can do. Now, I will be making a proper video on how to actually make your Chromebook faster by deleting Chrome OS and putting something better on it. Anyway, guys, I am out. Look at the light. <laughs>